Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at Guard and Swift, specifically using it to work with optionals, and also a practical example with URL session. Let's get started by creating a cheese wallet that will hold some amount of cheese coins that we might buy. Var my cheese wallet, and we'll set this to be of type double equals zero. And now let's create a function that will help us buy some cheese coins potentially funk by cheese coin and we'll set a double amount using an optional and that's because we might not have any cheese coins available to buy if we want to work with this amount variable we're going to have to unwrap it and here's where the guard statement comes into play we type guard let amount equals amount else and we'll put a print statement saying there are no coins to buy, and then return. Essentially what's going on here is we're passing in an optional double to our function. We need to unwrap this double before we can actually use it. So we're setting a new constant called amount equal to our current amount value. If our current amount from the top is nil, then this whole else block will get triggered and will return early. However, if our amount is not equal to nil, then we're essentially unwrapping this amount and setting our new amount equal to it so that this left side amount will not be optional anymore but will be a double that we can actually do something with let's put a print statement of our original amount and then we'll put another print statement of our new amount variable now let's print out and see what happens Our top level amount that came in from our parameter is a 3.14 optional, but the new amount that we can work with is 3.14. So in order to add these coins to our wallet, if you tried to do it up here, we'll get an error because this is an optional. So let's move it down below. And actually let's get rid of this amount statement and then print out our cheese coin amount before and after 3.14 this is a simple example but it goes to show that guard is very powerful when working inside functions to help early return but also to help unwrap optionals now let's look at a practical example using url session now let's make a function that will ping google and just get a basic result back ping google and here we'll put a guard statement to create our URL that we're going to try to access. Guard let URL string google.com else print busted URL and return. So first what we're doing is setting our URL equal to google.com and we're using a guard statement to try to actually make this a URL instead of a URL optional. If we did not put the guard statement, then this would return back as a URL optional that we can't actually work with. So we want to get our URL that we can access using a guard statement. Let request equals URL request. Default session. And then here we can put our data task. And we want the one with the request that's going to give us a completion handler. The request that we're working with is our rec variable. And our completion handler, we can hit enter here. And we'll put data, response, and error as our variables. And now we can use guard statements again to see what's inside our three variables before we proceed. Guard let data equals data, else print out an error message as any, and then return. So again, what's happening here is we're using a guard statement to set a new variable data equal to our optional data, because this optional data up here may or may not have anything in it. It may have data or it may be nil. We want to unwrap that using guard so that we can use the data below our guard statement. Just for this example, we'll only print out our data, 
but this data variable now has scope with the rest of this block. But again, let's just print it out for now. And then we have to call our resume here. And then we can ping Google. Press play. And we get a certain amount of bytes available. Let's copy this and do this for a response. And see what the response has. So here you see that we unwrapped our response variable and now we can use it and we have a whole response back from Google. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment and remember to hit the dinner bell.